hi everyone you are welcome back to my channel if you are new on this channel kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload a new video in today's topic i'm going to be talking about social stigmatization when you are being diagnosed of covid19 and how you can manage the situation what actually initiated this idea was uh, experience of a friend of mine who was diagnosed of mass symptoms of COVID-19 and she received a notification that her mail was delivered and she wanted to pick it up at the common room in the apartment where she lived and she saw one of her co-tenants and she told the co-tenant that she was tested positive uh, for COVID-19 the way her co-tenant ran in and she, it made her feel so terrible and the co-tenant went ahead to tell other tenants and she told the landlord so she felt like a monster which is not really good at this period i want us to understand that for as many that are diagnosed of coronavirus it is not a death warrant we have seen different cases of people who survive in this situation. It actually shows that majority of people succumbing to this disease condition are those people who have underlying disease condition and people of older age. I'm not saying that younger people are not also succumbing to this condition, but it is of a little percentage. The way people are succumbing and that's the same rate people are surviving at this period. And this leads us to the bone of contention for today. How do you treat people who are diagnosed of these symptoms? The first topic I'm going to be talking about is psychological support. How do I provide psychological support for someone who is diagnosed of COVID-19? Immediately, a friend of yours call you to tell you that he or she is diagnosed of um, coronavirus. This is not the period you begin to start asking questions like how, where did they go to get the virus, how did they contact the virus. This is not the time you give them pity faces, uh, unnecessary sympathy, but this is a period that you need to take the fear away from them they need your love your concern and empathy give them words of courage affirmation and hope and tell them we are in this together and indeed we are all in this together we should know that they are gonna be in the room by themselves or alone which can be so depressing we should uh, get in contact with them through calls messages chats facetime so they won't feel depressed the nice thing after providing psychological support is providing food medication water available when needed and this if you need to be close to the person that has coronavirus you need to put on your personal protective equipment like the mask the face sheet and you stay six feet to the to the patient and also you shouldn't stay more than 30 minutes in their room and this leads us to the last topic i'm going to be discussing today acceptance to the society when the person is no longer symptomatic for two days and he has tested negative twice he or she is welcome back to the society he or she is no longer contagious and this is not a period we need to be pointing fingers on someone the person has beaten the virus the body system has fought the virus and this go out to for as many people 
who have lost their loved ones, friends, family to this virus, I send hope, peace and courage to you all. We are all in this together. Stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you.